Hello everyone, welcome to class 9 mathematics. Today we are going to start with chapter 2 known as polynomials. So let's try to understand what is the definition of polynomials. So what is a polynomial? An expression in which the power of the variables are in whole numbers is known as a polynomial. Let's try to understand what this definition means with the help of an example. For example, okay, so for example, let's take 2x plus 4. Now here, did the alphabets like x, y, z, these are known as variables. Now this plus minus into divide these are known as operators and the values which has a fixed value are known as constants. Now here 2x plus 4 can be called as a polynomial. Why? Because the power of the variables are in whole number. Now which is the variable here? The variable here is x. Now what is the power of x here? The power of x is nothing, that means 1. So above 1, the, above x, there is no, nothing, that means the power of x is 1. So an expression in which the power of the variables are in whole numbers is known as a polynomial. And we know that 1 is a whole number, therefore 2x plus 4 is what? It is known as a polynomial. If I go to another example, let's take 7x cube minus 3y plus 7. If I ask you to identify the variables from here, the variables here are what? x and y. Now what are the powers of the variable? The power of x is 3 and the power of y is 1. If there is nothing written as the power of the variable, then the power is taken as 1. Therefore, this also falls in the category of polynomial. Let's take a different example, for example, x plus 1 by x. Now, see, if I look at it naturally, it seems that what is the, what are the variables here? The variable is x. What is the power of this variable? It is nothing but 1. What is the power of this variable? It is 1, but no, actually this is not 1. In our previous classes, we saw some laws of exponents and here there we had a law like 1 by a to the power n is a to the power minus n. So here, how can I write 1 by x? 1 by x can be written as x to the power minus 1. Here above x, nothing is there means 1 is there. So if I go by this rule, it comes out to be minus 1. So x plus 1 by x can be written as x plus x to the power minus 1. Now see what are the powers of the variable. The powers of the variable are 1 is 1 but the other is minus 1. So is minus 1 a whole number? No, because whole number uh, starts from 0 and goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in that manner. So here x plus 1 by x is not a polynomial. Why? Because the power of x in 1 by x is not a whole number. All right, let's take another example like root over x plus 3. Now, if I have see the, this symbol, this symbol is known as the square root symbol. Now, it can be written as follows x to the power half. If I have square root, the power is half. Always remember this. So, it can be written as x to the power half plus 3. Now, is half a whole number? No, it is not a whole number. So, root x plus 3 is not a polynomial. Alright, I think by now you are clear with what a polynomial is. Now, in a polynomial, let's take the polynomial 7x cube minus 3y plus 7, we have something known as terms. Now, here how many terms are there? Let's try to write the terms here. We have three terms. One is 7x cubed. Now terms are separated by symbols plus or minus. Now whenever there is an operator called plus or minus, 
we will separate it out and make it as a separate terms. So the terms in this polynomial are 7x cube comma minus 3y comma 7. So how many terms are here? We have three terms in the above polynomials. All right. Also, each term of a polynomial has a coefficient. Now, each term of a polynomial has a coefficient. Now, what is the meaning of coefficient? Now, here in 7x cube, what is the coefficient of x cube? So, if I ask the question like, what is the coefficient of x cube? Now, the of whatever variable the coefficient is asked, I need to hide it and after hiding that, whatever I am getting, it is the answer. So, what is the coefficient of x cube? It is nothing but 7. Understood? Now, for the second term, what is the coefficient of y? For that, you have to hide y and in the term, Whatever is left after hiding that particular variable, that is the coefficient of y. That means in this case, the coefficient of y is minus 3. Similarly, we have a constant term. Now, here 7 is a constant. Why 7 is a constant? Because it has a fixed value. All right. Now, from this, let us go to another term known as a constant polynomial. Now, what is a constant polynomial? The constants are known as constant polynomials. For example, 2, like let's say minus 5, 7, etc. These are known as constant polynomials because it consists of constants. Now, how can we say this to be polynomials? It is because 2 can be written as what? 2 can be written as 2 x to the power 0. x to the power 0 is how much? It is 1. So, it ultimately means 2 into 1 that is 2. Similarly, minus 5 can be written as minus 5 let us say z to the power 0. z to the power 0 is 1. So, we are left with minus 5. So, these constants are also known as polynomials but specifically we call it by the name of constant polynomials. Now we have another category of polynomial known as zero polynomial. Now what is zero polynomial? The constant zero is known as the zero polynomial. So you may be asked a question like what is a zero polynomial or which number is known as a zero polynomial? It is simply the number zero is known as a zero polynomials. Now let us try to understand the category of polynomial based on the number of terms. So, if I give a heading like polynomials based on the number of terms, all right. So, here we change the color here. Now, if a polynomial has only one term, then it is known as monomial. Okay. If a polynomial has two terms, then it is known as a binomial. Similarly, continuing in the same manner, if a polynomial has three terms, it is known as a trinomial. So, let me give some examples of all this type of polynomials. So, mon monomial means polynomial having a single term only. So, polynomials like 2x minus 3, x cube etc. These are some examples of uh, monomials. Binomial means polynomials having two terms. For example, 2x plus 3, 7y square minus 4. All these are some examples of binomials. Some examples of trinomials can be, let us say, y to the power 4 
प्लस वाई प्लस फाइव और लेट्स से एक्स माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस रूट टू दीज आर सम एग्जांपल्स ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स नोन एज ट्राइनोमियल्स सो देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ पॉलिनोमियल्स बेस्ड ऑन नंबर ऑफ टर्म्स नाउ लेट्स गो टू द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक नोन एज द डिग्री ऑफ ए पॉलिनोमियल डिग्री ऑफ ए पॉलिनोमियल सो वट इज द डिग्री ऑफ ए पॉलिनोमियल लेट मी राइट द डेफिनेशन द हाइस्ट पावर ऑफ द वेरिएबल इन ए पॉलिनोमियल इज नोन एज the degree of a polynomial so let me try to make you understand this with the help of an example so let's say we have a polynomial called 4x to the power 6 minus 3x to the power 7 plus x plus 9 now what are the powers of this terms the power of this term is 6 the power of this term is 7 the power of this term is 1 and the power of this term is 0 now which is the highest power in the entire polynomial the highest power is 7 therefore the degree of this polynomial is 7 so what is the degree the highest power of the variable in a polynomial is known as the degree of a polynomial in the above polynomial the the highest power is 7 therefore the degree of the above polynomial is how much it is 7 let's take another example a simple example rather 2x plus 8 now what is the highest power here the highest power is the power of x that is 1 because 2x plus 8 can be written as 2x to the power 1 plus 8 therefore the degree is how much the degree is 1 all right If I take another example, two uh, x square minus nine y plus three, what will be the degree of this polynomial? See the highest power. The highest power is what? It is two. So the degree is two. Another thing we need to remember regarding degree of a polynomial that is the degree of a non-zero constant polynomial is zero. Let me write this important uh, line for you. the degree of a non zero constant polynomial is how much it is zero for example if someone asks you the degree of 7 what it is it is a non zero constant polynomial so the degree of 7 will be 0 if someone asks you the degree of let's say minus 8 this is also a non zero constant polynomial so what is the degree the degree of minus 8 will also be nothing but 0 now based on the degree polynomials are divided into certain types so let's try to understand the subdivision of polynomials based on the degree so let's go to polynomials based on degree we can subdivide it into three parts now if the if a polynomial has a degree of 1 then such a polynomial is known as a linear polynomial polynomial so how can we define a linear polynomial a polynomial having a degree 1 is known as a linear polynomial for example let give let us give some examples of linear polynomial let's say 2x minus 1 here the highest power is 1 so it is a linear polynomial root over 2y plus 1 it is a linear polynomial let's say 2 minus u this is also a linear polynomial why because all these polynomials has a degree of how much degree of 
now if a polynomial has a degree of 2 then such a polynomial is known as a quadratic polynomial what it is called it is known as quadratic polynomial let me give some examples of quadratic polynomial some examples may be 7x square minus 9y plus 4 or let's say 4y plus 5y square these are some examples of quadratic polynomials now if a polynomial has a degree of 3 then such a polynomial is known as a cubic polynomial let's give some example for example if i take 4x cube let's say 2x cube plus 7y square minus 9 now here what is the highest power it is 3 so it is a cubic polynomial in this expression also what is the highest power it is 3 therefore it is also known as cubic polynomial so remember <coughs> based on the degree polynomials can be divided into three types linear quadratic and cubic if a polynomial has a degree 1 it is known as linear polynomial degree 2 it is known as a quadratic polynomial and degree 3 it is known as what it is known as cubic polynomial okay so let's see if i have left some topics here i've done this coefficient zero polynomials okay monomial binomial trinomial the degree of a polynomial okay linear polynomial quadratic polynomial and cubic polynomial okay so that's all with the introduction part in the next class i am going to discuss about this exercise known as exercise 2.1 all right. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next class.